Hi, I'm Gabi Lehner from Azure Data Explorer team. In this session, I will show you how to create an Azure Data Explorer cluster and database. So first, you go to Azure Portal. In the portal, you can start by creating a resource and search for Data Explorer. Then you click the Create button and you have to fill a few fields. So first, uh, your subscription. I'll be using this subscription and a resource group. I'll change the resource group I'm using. Uh, you need to provide a valid uh, cluster name. So I'll try So I see the validation did not go through well since the name is already taken. So I'll add something just to make sure that I have uh, the unique name I need. And then I can select a region. I'll leave West US and a SKU. For the purpose of this uh, demo, I will select the smallest SKU. In a different session, I will explain what's the considerations for selecting different SKUs and how does it relate to the scenario that you have. So once everything is done here, I go and tap the review and create. The cluster uh, is going through validation <coughs> before we start the create and now I can create the cluster itself. Cluster creation takes a few minutes so we'll continue once the cluster is ready for use. Okay so now my cluster is up and running so I can go to the resource And you see I have all the available blades. I can scale up, scale out the cluster. I can go to the databases blade. At the moment, I don't have any databases or data connections configured on the cluster. So I'll start by creating a database. I can do it either from here or from the database blade. So adding a database is very easy and quite straightforward. You just need to select a database name, again, a valid name. So I'll, I'll try test DB. Let's see if the validation go through. Yes, so I can actually just now create it or if I want to change the retention period, which stands for the time that we keep the data in uh, Azure Data Explorer, which is by default 10 years, or I can change also the cache period default, which is 31 days. Cache period is the time that we keep the data in the hot cache for quick and interactive querying. So if I don't want to change anything, I can just hit the create. In a few seconds, I will have a new database ready for data ingestion and available for work. Thank you. And we'll continue with another session showing how data ingestion works in Azure Data Explorer.